Hello friends, I'm Parviz and this is our sixth video in Pyglet library for multimedia applications and game development. Uh, in the last video I have showed you how you can uh, add GIF image to your Pyglet window. Uh, you can do like this uh, animation. Uh, this was from the previous video. Uh, if you have not watched the previous video, I highly recommend you to watch uh, the previous video. Uh, in this video, uh, I'm going to show you how you can play sounds um, in Pyglet application. Uh, okay, for this, I have made a new uh, Python file and also I have added two uh, two sa uh, uh, sounds. Uh, the first one is uh, uh, wave and second one is MP3. Uh, when you are going to uh, play a uh, wave sound uh, then it's easy and there is no problem you can do it but uh, uh, when you are uh, going to play uh, mp3 sounds in uh, Pyglet it's a little uh, different and uh, not difficult but it's a little dif different and it needs some more uh, um, works okay uh, for uh, playing wave sounds um, right now I'm going to show you it's so easy you can just simply import Pyglet and after that make a music variable uh, music I call it music no problem uh, after that you can simply write Pyglet dot resource dot media and you can simply write your uh, uh, your sound uh, clip name uh, mine is uh, I think it was a simple beep dot wave. Okay. Uh, after this, and also uh, make the streaming to false. Okay. Uh, now we are going to play this. You can simply write music dot play, and at the end you should run your uh, Pyglet application dot app dot run okay uh, now if I run this you can see uh, you you have heard the sound uh, let me run this again yeah this was uh, okay this was the wave uh, sounds but uh, when you're going to uh, add or upload uh, mp3 sounds this is uh, different okay uh, I have uh, added uh, an mp3 uh, sound to my directory now I'm going to change uh, let me sh uh, what was the name uh, the name was guitar.mp3 uh, it is a guitar sound guitar.mp3 okay now let me uh, bring the Mm. Okay, let me run this, and you will see the uh, error in here. Uh, here's writing uh, pyglet.media.source uh, with format ex exception. Av bin is required to decode compressed media. Okay, and pyglet when we are going to uh, play MP3 sounds, it needs Av bin that should be installed in your Windows. Okay. Uh, for this you should download this, uh, this is the website, I will add the link of this uh, website to my uh, in the video description, uh, avbin.github.io, uh, there's uh, different versions for Mac OS, for Linux and also for Windows, 64-bit uh, and 32-bit. One important issue that uh, you should remember, uh, this 64 and 32 is not your Windows uh, bit. Uh, it is related to your Python. Uh, when you are using 32-bit uh, Python, you should download this 32-bit AVBin. And if you are using 64-bit uh, uh, Python, you should download the 64-bit. Uh, uh, um, by default, uh, when we are going to install Python, it is 32-bit, then you should download this. Okay. Uh, after downloading this, you can uh, simply install this. Uh, let me run this. I agree. Okay. Close. Now it's installed. Okay. Uh, let me run this again. Okay. We have uh, the again that problem. Uh, here we have two solutions. Uh, we have installed the AVBin. 
Okay. Uh, the first issue is that you should copy your EVBIN DLL and add it in here. Uh, let me uh, copy this. Uh, your, the DLL, when you are going to install EVBIN, it's on Windows on System32. And uh, let me uh, find this AV, AVBIN.DLL. Uh, yeah, this is. You can. What? Where is it? Just a minute. Um, AVBIN, yeah. You can simply. Uh, you can simply copy this and paste this in your where you have your playing sound. Let me paste it in here. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to run this. Yeah. Uh, you can see that now it's working. Uh, this was the first solution. Uh, let me remove this uh, from here and uh, run this again. We have again the problem. Yeah. Uh, the better solution is this: that you should copy this, you should catch this, and paste this in your in in the Windows. You should copy this in SOS uh, WoW64. You should copy and paste your AVBIN DLL in here. Yeah. Now if we run this, I have removed that in from here. Now I am going to run this. Yeah, now it's working. Let me run this again. Uh, okay, thank you guys. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, don't forget subscription of my channel.